In the book I mention the uh, nitrous oxide being fed into the third leg from the transformer converter. Take a look at those amps. Look at you got a hundred and it drops it down to 170 volts. You know, 43 amps or something on that. Watch what happens here to 55. See it drops it down to 170 volts. You got 58 amps on that third leg. It's now I want you to see 30. what happens with the transformer converter. Watch this. 169, 147, 147. That's what that's the difference in starting with the transformer converter. Let's watch it again, and this time we'll do it in uh, slow motion. Uh, you can see right away that the amps are on that third leg are very, very meager. We get 29 amps in, the voltage drops to 166. So how do you expect the motor to start properly? When Watch when the lights dim. Bam. I just hit the switch. The voltage drops down 170. We have 58 amps. Okay, this was the bigger converter, so it puts in a little more amps to 55 and uh, gets it started. And you can see that you're not going to get the motor started correctly with that measly amount. It's not balanced. The start is not balanced. Watch what happens when we use the transformer converter. Look. 169, 154, 145. First of all, it goes pretty quick. 147, 147, 165, 202 amps totally in. The look at the vacuum cleaner, the metal rod is totally up, the bag's full. Vacuum cleaner is started. 